My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. And it was in this field that I came upon a clue which has enabled me to help millions of people to find their earthly destinies. I want to describe my discovery in the simplest terms possible because it will reveal to you why it is true that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve, regardless of how many times you may have failed in the past or how lofty your aims and hopes may be. Shalom, Israel. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Barashim Yahweh Shai, the Buanas to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the out there doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. All right, and this lesson will be entitled Mind Over Matter. Right, so you know, you brothers heard that devil saying that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. And he also said that, well, regardless of how many times you may fall short, that your goal basically is attainable. Now, that refers unto what the elect, okay? No matter how many times the elect slip up and fall, the elect is all going to overcome. The elect shall make it through the times of Jacob's trouble. Okay, that's why it says in Proverbs 24 and 16, For a just man follows seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Because there's nothing that can stop the elect from attaining the kingdom of heaven. That's why Paul said, um, What shall separate us from the love of Yahweh while Yahweh shy? He said, I'm convinced that neither death nor famine nor peril now, all these different uh, tribulations shall separate us from the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And that's why, too, it goes into, uh, when you go into Proverbs 18 and 21, it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Okay? Because when we're speaking, or when we're doing these lessons, you know, and especially something that's uh, premeditated, what, you have the image in your head. Of what you want to project out there to the rest of the Akim. Okay? So you have the image in your mind, you know, as Apostle Gabor says, what that we think in pictures. So you have that image in your mind that you conceive and that you believe. And then when you actually speak it through your tongue, you give power unto the image that's in your mind that you're projecting. So you give power unto, unto that uh, that image. Therefore, the most I will bring that into a fruition for you, man, you know, because you truly believe that and you could truly conceive that in your mind that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will bring your thoughts to pass, man. Okay, all the fruits of your labor, you believe that the most I will bring those things to pass, you know. Okay, so going into the uh, next scripture that I have here, this is uh, Matthews 21, and I start at... Uh, Verse uh, 18, now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he hungered, and when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it, and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, let no fruit grow on thence, thee henceforth, henceforward forever, and presently the fig tree withered away, and when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, how soon is the fig tree withered away? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. 
right? So, you know what? Yahweh Shai said, what? If you believe, you know, and not doubt, you shall be able to say this mountain be removed and cast into the sea, and it shall come to pass. And that, rep that mountain represents what our burdens that we have in this present life, man, that afflict us, you know, every single day, okay? Now, you have different examples of mind over matter in this world as far as something that I was just looking up. You know, I was looking up um, information on these uh, these monks, and basically, they do this thing. Esau had them do this uh, test which was called wet sheets now through the power of meditation they were monitoring these monks vital signs and they sat them on cold wet sheets i believe 40 degrees celsius or something to that effect i'm not not exactly sure i might be wrong on that but they had these monks sitting on these cold wet sheets and through the power of meditation and concentrating and focusing their energy they were able to project heat from their body until these sheets and you started to see steam coming from these sheets and within an hour the sheets were completely dry now that's mind over matter and that's in the form of this world okay and you have other forms of mind over matter in this world which what Esau calls what telekinesis being able to move things with your mind okay and that are things that are presently done in this world which people marvel at. And these, and keep in mind, these things are done on the left hand side by people that don't have the true knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that do things on the side of Satan, that worship false gods, that worship false images, and they believe in them false gods, and they believe in them false images, and they make these things happen. So, how much more us, if we praying unto the Most High to move the burdens of our everyday lives, will the Most High bring those things into fruition, man? Okay? If Satan is doing these great wonders for these other heathens, how much more Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will take care of us and will remove things for us if we only believe and we conceive that He can do these things through the power of our prayer and our mind? Okay? By believing in his word, by faith, man. You know? We gotta truly think about that because we have the true and living power on our side. We have the author of the holy books. We have the producer or the director of this movie that we are in. We have the creator of the heaven and earth on our side to do anything for us, man. That, that's why the scriptures say, "What uh, cast your burdens upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee." So we have the true and living power, the source of all things that will perform all things for us. Like the brother Barack Abar, he did a lesson. Um, uh, I believe it was entitled that "What ye have power, uh, ye sons of the living power." Man, you know, we have that power because we are the princes. And the rulers of this earth, man. So there is nothing, and that's why the scriptures say, "What? Uh, there is nothing impossible uh, with the Most High, man. You know, because by our faith and our belief and our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all things can be done, man. Whatever burdens you may have, whatever trials, tribulations, afflictions, or whatever it may be." Cast them burdens upon the Lord and he will move mountains for you, man. You know? And that's on the the uh the spiritual aspect and on the physical part when we receive those spiritual powers, man. When you watch those uh cartoons and different things like that, man. Them being able to move different uh uh pieces of matter and things with their mind, man. Especially like I always like to get into, you know, the uh cartoon Dragon Ball Z, man, you know? Those are things that we will be able to do. Right now, we move things through the power of our prayer, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But that time will come when we can literally uh, move things because we will have that power from on high, man. You know? In his, next, in his next precept that I got here, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason 
of fear pureness, for she is a breath of the power of the Most High, a, a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of his goodness. Right, so that last part that's key, you know, that that wisdom, you know, is the image of the most high's goodness. And it said what? That wisdom is more than any move in motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. So we have the most high, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, with us at all times, man. Think about it. The most high is the wind, the most high is the breath. So whenever you're outside, or just, just by us breathing alone, the most high is with us. When you go outside and you see the, the trees, the trees are blowing from the winds, the most high is around you. Okay? When you're seeing the flowers move, you know what I mean? The, the birds chirping, the most high is around you, man. You know? That's how you gotta think about these things. So power is constantly circulating around us, around us, and through us 24-7, man. We have the power of the Most High dwelling within us constantly, man. But you have to be conscious of that power and you have to, to use that power to overcome the dark forces of this world. So in reading this other part again, it says, For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, man. And that everlasting light through our minds shines through the darkness, man. For us to be able to travel through these paths of, these, of this evil world, man. You know? We have, once again, we have the true and living power on our side. Whenever you feel that wind blowing, just know, and when in every breath you take, know that the Mosai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is with you, man. Okay? The Mosai, his power is flowing through all things. You know? But you can't doubt, man. And, and all things are what? Through prayer. That's why it says in uh, Philippians 4 and 6. Be careful for nothing, but with everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request be made known unto the Most High. But it can't be a uh, 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 doubt, and it has to be in faith with nothing wavering, man. Like what uh, what one of the disciples was walking on that water. He was walking on the water to Yahweh Shai, but then when he felt the, the turbulence of the winds, then he doubted and he fell through, man. You know, that's mind over matter. Because before he doubted, he was walking on the water. So he was surpassing the, the physical matters of this world by dwelling with the power of, of prayer and belief and faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So he used mind over matter to overcome the physical elements of this world. And that's how the elect is going to do. The elect is going to use their mind power to be able to overcome. The, the physical elements in the trials, the tribulations, the everyday afflictions of this present world in which we're dwelling in, man. And all we have to do is what is to tap into our power source. When your lights go out in your home, what do you do? You have to go to what? The main power box. You have to flip a few switches to see what's going on and then what the lights come on. Because what? You tap into the power source, man. You know? Like these unconscious niggas. What they like to see uh, all tangible evidence, right? They like to see tangible evidence, but we don't have to see it to believe it, okay? We don't, because we, this whole thing is based off of faith, man, you know? And they want to say, oh, what's that source? Is it a primary source? Is it a secondary source? Where did your source come from, man? They're tapping into, into a, a vain sources, man. We're tapping into the direct source, the creator of the heavens and the earth, man, you know? That's what we have on our side, man. We're tapping into the direct, the primary source, which is Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Therefore, there is nothing impossible, once again, unto the elect, man, you know? So, once again, you know, uh, to wrap up, you know, it's mind over matter. Your prayer, your faith, your belief, how you conceive things, you can achieve them in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's how all things are done. Point blank period, you know? You know, the time is short. You know, the, the kingdom is nigh. You know, so keep praying. Stay on your watch. 
you know, uh, brothers fast, you know, we got we got to constantly grow more in the spirit to raise our spiritual awareness, man, you know, to, to, to raise the power of our mind, you know, that the Most High will a allow us, you know, to overcome the things of this world by us being more in the spirit and feeding our flesh less. We have to do whatever it is possible to, to live more for our spirit, man, okay? And to, and to raise that bar of, revelation, of, of elevation, you know, it's through our prayer and our fasting, man. And the fasting is real key, you know? But, um, you know, with that, you know, I'm going to end this. And, um, you know, I just hope this segment was edifying, you know, for you brothers out there. And i like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Lekman out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and truth and sincerity. Shalom and death to America.